what is up beautiful people it's me tara j back again with another one and today this is my first video that i am ever recording in 2021 and i am so happy about that so before i get into anything else i do want to wish you guys a happy happy new year i wish nothing but greatness and prosperity throughout your new year i wish your bank accounts will be loaded as well as mine and i wish you find nothing but peace and happiness I hope you get blessed with everything that you're hoping to have in this new year and you stay COVID free. With that being said, we are um, talking about COVID a little bit and life lessons that we were first forced to learn because of COVID in 2020. So before I get into that, I do want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So if you are new here and this is your first time clicking this video, thank you so much for clicking my video. Please join the TJ fam because we are the shit. And if this is your yet another video you have watched of mine, thank you so much for clicking it again because I truly appreciate you. So as I said, it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now. Don't wait and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button so you know every time I post a video. <laughs> and while you're there, you might as well just give this video a big thumbs up because why not, right? <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So, as you know it, I always have my laptop because every time I'm thinking about something, I have to write it down just in case because I don't want to miss it. And I don't want to miss making a video for you. So, <laughs> in this video, like I said, we are talking about COVID and life lessons that we may have been forced to learn in 2020. Or just naturally as we're growing as human beings and individuals, we grow every day. So, I'm going to give you about four or five life lessons that I know that I learned and I was forced to learn in 2020 and primarily due to job loss, COVID, family member injuries, and things like that. So if you agree with this video, of course, like I said, give this video a big thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what you think. But yeah, guys, number one, the number one thing that I've learned is health versus wealth, basically. Health is much, 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 much more important than wealth. When I say that, it, it shows that we are not taking our health for granted because COVID, do you know how many people's lives have been lost because of COVID in 2020? It shows that you have to make sure your physical and your mental is on point. Health is the most important thing that I have learned. And I'm pretty sure you like the same thing that at any moment you could be down and sick or anything could be taken away from you. So that's what I said, health over wealth definitely for sure i would let i would like to always be breathing i know that i'm never gonna go broke but i still want to be able to wake up every morning and feel blessed that god gave me another day to live that's number one health before wealth or over wealth same difference <laughs> number two perspective is everything I I mean, all my life I've known that perspective is everything, first impression is everything and things like that, but it's really all a mental thing. As we know, 2020 sucked, like, sucked, sucked. But if you think about it, how about you think about all the things that did go good for you in 2020, like me. I found the job of my dreams, and I finally got rid of a car that I really low-key hated, and it was going to break down anyway, stuff like that. Like, a lot of good things happened in 2020, or I got an apartment. You know, stuff like that. So it's like something to think about and consider when you're thinking about how bad COVID was and how we were in the pretty much in the house on, on lockdown all year. But think about what came of that. You Maybe you was able to open a savings account that you never opened before. Or maybe you got that job that you've been dreaming about. Or you bought that new car. Or you got a new apartment. Whatever the case may be, something positive had to have happened to you in 2020. So that's something that you should focus on more and look at the perspective of what that what happened with that so that's what i learned also that perspective is everything number three slow down i've talked to so many people in 2020 and i'm just like that's god telling you to sit down for a second and hold on 
because if you're going too fast something's gonna happen you're gonna trip over your own self or you're gonna trip over somebody else when in fact something always goes wrong and to prevent something go goes wrong and to prevent something going wrong i would say slow down you don't it's not a race you're not in competition with nobody but yourself so if you slow down and take your time and perfect everything that you're trying to do i think you'll be successful and i say 2020 has taught a lot of us that we need to slow down it's forcing us to take a step back for a second and hustle a little bit harder but making sure we're focusing on the things that's more important to us while we're hustling that's important don't just force something and just try to create something. Oh, I want to close the line because my JJ and Auntie John got to close the line too. No, what's for you is always going to be for you. So you no need to rush, no need to compete. Slow down. Take it one step at a time. And the very last one that I would say is the importance of boundaries. That's This, this is definitely something that I've I was forced to learn in 2020 boundaries is so important because people overstep their own boundaries and they force you to overstep your boundaries too and people don't know can't accept no or people don't understand when they're gaslighting the situation or people don't understand when they're making you feel a certain type of way because they're entitled to their own feelings or just for your own being like just for your own mental health and your own physical and emotional being set boundaries for you so you know okay this is how much i'm willing to tolerate because if i'm if i take it to another level i'm gonna be somewhere balled up crying or something like that or or like something about being productive set boundaries and set limits like i'm not gonna overwork myself today i'm not gonna overwork over be over excessive today because tomorrow i'm gonna be drained i'm probably not gonna get nothing done so that's what I'm saying about it's important to set boundaries. It helps you save money. It helps you put limits on yourself, but as well as become limitless. So yes, guys, these are four main, 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 main life lessons that I know I was forced to learn in 2020. And again, due to COVID, due to job loss, due to family injuries, all of that good stuff being sick. I hope you um, guys may have learned these same things. If you learned something different in 2020, Definitely comment below. I would love to hear your stories and your testimonies. And as you know it, I'm Tara J. And I'm out. Peace.